for me personally, I mean, like I've always said that the what the image is like and what the style is doesn't necessarily mean that the album's gonna be better. I don't think that Lordy's ever been like, okay, dark albums. If it's a dark album, that automatically means yes, it's better. But because I I felt that all the albums have progressively gotten better up until Dead Egg, where I knew that you can only go downhill from here. Not that Babes was a bad album, I still think it's their second best album, but still. But for me, image-wise, Lordy has always been at their best when they are more horror, more dark, because I always just thought that it made more sense. They're a monster band, so have a horror image. But, uh, like, the pattern has gone light, dark, light, dark, light. I, I remember reading somewhere that some interview where Mr. Lordy said that he's grown aware of this pattern and like with the album covers where with Babes he did something different because he didn't want to uh, repeat himself and thought that okay let's mix things up. I think he said something along the lines of that he's tired of this pattern it seems to happen even though the band doesn't want it to but it seems to go like this so he said that he'd like the next album to be sort of like a mix between the two extremes, uh, the light and the dark, and for me personally, that sounds fucking amazing, because if we're not gonna get the dark horror album, then that sounds like the ultimate Lordy album, where you have the both extremes of Lordy put into one album and made into a, a nice mix where it seems like every part of Lordy in one album, if they do that right, then... I think we're gonna get something incredible, and especially with now Otis here, what what can he do with these songs? Well, like I said, it would be it would be really awesome to have that, but it's really hard to pull off because you have to pull off. Album has to be one thing; it has to be consistent. It can't throw you off. It has to lead in from the first track to the very last second. It has to be you know a ride. And if you hit a bump, essentially you're gonna ask yourself some questions: Are they aiming for this direction, that direction? If they find a flow, if they find a proper frame to work in, that they said, okay, we can have a serious song here, another serious, then we're going to go a little light, a little light, then back into serious, and if they're able to do that on an album, then I'm all for it. However, I'm worried that it's not going to work out, that maybe it'll be easier if they stick to one subject. Again, I could be proven wrong, I want to be proven wrong, but like I said, I'm I'm holding my breath for this one. Yeah, that, that can be an, a problem, but I personally, I'm waiting for it to be more like on the lines of that maybe they're not going as dark and heavy, but they're keeping them... I'm, I assume that Mr. Lordy means that, okay, they're going to keep the music light and melodic and they're going to go with this, but they're going to bring more of the horror into it. And that's what I... that Like, on Babes, Babes was a wonderful album, but then uh, when I hear... Granny's Gone Crazy and Devil's Lullaby at the end of the album, no matter how much fun I have listening to the rest of the album, when I get to those two songs, every single time I think, why wasn't the entire album like these two songs? Because those were proof that Lordy can do horror and dark stuff, but still be tongue-in-cheek, still be melodic. You can do horror without becoming too serious and dark, and I think that's that's what I would be the dream for me, to have an album full of songs like that, that are melodic, that are tongue-in-cheek, that are fun to listen to, but they don't go away from the monster aspect of the band. I think the problem that I had with, uh, maybe with Babes, that eventually some of... I, not entirely like Eroclips, where mixing in the Eroclips just made it sound like every song was the same. It was essentially, you know, uh, intro here, chorus, intro, chorus, solo, uh, verse, chorus again. And while there was variation on Babes, I do have problems sometimes even thinking about tracks that really stood out or maybe think, yeah, you know, this is different. This was This broke some boundaries. There were some great tracks. Like, like, give your life for rock and roll. Like, Granny's gone crazy, um, but it, again, maybe this is just my feel on, on the fact. It, it's like it's like when people said, "Do you release an album that's lighter and commercially successful, but le and more accessible, losing the cr the critics, or do you release an album that's darker, you know, a little more edgier, but it doesn't have a you know the huge amount of success off it?" I mean, let's be honest. 
perfect example, Kiss Dynasty. Does anybody actually like that album? Is it, you know, is it spiritual in any way? I do. <laughs> oh god! Like this is like 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 exactly my my point. Like I can't stand that album. But then we have you know Creatures of the Night, and while it was even it wasn't even half of the success of a Dynasty, I it was you know um, it's a much better, much more rewarding album, the second heaviest album Kiss ever recorded. So yeah, but uh, then again, uh, let, let's be honest here. Dynasty had I was made for loving you. That was the reason the album. <laughs> It, it was a disco song, you know, the, the yeah. Kiss just tapped in, and, and even though I don't see Lordy going into a kind of, you know, upbeat generation, I don't think we're going to have, you know, Euro trash dance pop Lady Gaga style sound songs, you know. Like I said, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, like, my dream would be that it would be a darker horror album, like, if you asked me what is your dream for the next Lordy album, I would go, Dead Ache number two, please, please continue with that, please. Because when they did Dead Egg, I was just so happy that, okay, this is what the Monsterican Dream I thought should have been. This is melodic, this is still sounds like the good old Lordy, but it's darker. Yes, continue with this. And then Mr. Lordy says, yeah, we're tired of this dark, depressing thing. We just wanted to let off some steam. Now we're going to do a darker album. Now, from a darker album, let's go to a lighter album. Fuck. So that would be my dream, but since that's not going to happen... I just hope, go a little more to the Arocalypse, because for me, Babes sounded great, but the guitars especially, they sounded really soft, they didn't have the power, like, listen to the Arocalypse as loud as you can on a good stereo, and that album sounds fucking huge. More balls, more raw guitars, that's what I'd want from the next album, and with Otis on drums, they could. that's what I'd want a ballsier, raw-sounding album. That's what I'd want. Really? Yeah, I can't add anything more than that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's a agree, like, uh, Arocalypse, if you, if you listen to that, like, a real stereo, it's, like, absolutely awesome. And then you have Bates to Breakfast on the same thing, and it isn't that heavy. That was a lot of more, like, yeah. Rough using more loud, more bass, more everything. You know, I'd love to. I'd love to. I'd love for them to get D. Snyder back and actually offer him a good part on the album. Don't make him do a freaking <laughs> intro. It's D. Snyder. Fuck yeah, I'm D. Snyder. You know who's gonna argue with D. Snyder? Nobody's gonna argue with D. Snyder. D. Snyder is God. Everybody who thinks they're you know big manly men when they talk to D. Snyder, they're afraid. Everybody's terrified of D. Snyder. You know. He, because, he because he's this Snyder. Exactly. He's, you know, and uh, it'd be really great if they maybe got some guest stars on an album. You know, I'd love to hear Udo again. It's his uh, it's his 60th birthday this year. Maybe he could do something a little special for Lordy. Again, I'd, I'd love to see it. Could be, could be. I mean, what I'd lo love is Mr. Lordy. I think he said that he and Udo said that when they have time, they're going to write a song together at some point. He already did with Bruce Kulik, so I'm still waiting for the day when he writes one with Udo. That's going to be incredible, incredible. You know, I'm, I'm waiting for the day when, you know, uh, Gene Simmons uh, puts, out an al puts out a song for Lordy, and it's going to be probably <laughs> to the tune of Gene Simmons counting money, you know? <laughs> There's yeah, my... that's one thing that I'm waiting for, because that's... Mr. Lordy's ultimate dream, do a song with Kiss, especially with Gene Simmons, and I, I still have faith in the fact that that is gonna happen someday, don't know when, but it's gonna fucking happen. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm hoping today. that every day that somehow uh, he gets together with Ace, and they create, you know, like a mind-blowing space rock track or something, it's like, oh please, please, please don't go to Gene Simmons, don't go to, you know, Mean Gene, the human ATM machine, for Christ's sake, <laughs> man, go to Ace, he's the man, when he put out Anomaly, I was like, you know, holy shit, you know, it's like, this oh, is the reason, this was, this is the reason Ace was always the musical backbone, you know, Gene might have been the entertainer, but Ace was always the, you know, the true musician. Yeah, because, let's be honest, let's compare Ace with something like Outer Space and then Gene with Firestarter. Exactly. There, there's no contest, no contest. You know, and then you have, you know, uh, 
Paul Stanley, you know, acting like the the rock diva, you know, strutting around because he always struts, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but again, I, I'm getting all, uh, completely sidetracked here. The point is, I think at the end, when it comes to the new album, I want something a little heavier. I want, you know, maybe a couple of guest stars, not for them to overwhelm the album, but one or two wouldn't, I think, hurt. Uh, gearing towards a more edgier uh morbid maybe sound not afraid to go a little bit metal maybe some good promotion this time actually proper lighting during concerts that that's what i'm hoping for and just I, i've said it over and over again i don't think it's going to surprise anyone and i don't want to rehash myself but that's what i'm waiting for and that's what i'm hoping for yeah and uh, i hope really like adding to that that i, I kind of want this band to have fun and actually enjoy themselves but you know amusing their loyal fans that is always there for them because in the end the commercial like I don't know the population that is listening to them like sort of half the way they will get tired and go some point at some point they will just leave but still the core fans will still be there so if you abuse the core fans they'll still they'll have a public that wants to watch them so they don't want something that really all of the fans want not the population in general. Yeah, that's very true. I completely agree. Like I said, we'll see. We'll see. Time alone can tell. We can sit here and, you know, discuss till the cows, uh, you know, go home from the pasture, but until we actually see it, it's all speculation at this point.